got the new project in. We got a OBS in here. Getting the 5.3. Keeping the same transmission in here. The customer provided a new torque converter on there. Just about done rebuilding the uh, 5.3 on there. Waiting on the heads. So I got them almost uh, ready as well. But yeah. So as you can see, we got the engine bay pretty much prepped here on your factory lines. You actually got the return and the feed there. All you have to do is buy these two adapters up in the link. I'll go ahead um, in the description box. Check out the description box. I have the link for these here. We have the part numbers. All you got to do is hit the link and it'll take you straight to those for the OBSs. Man, it makes it super easy. So that way you just got to make it two lines to run up there to the intake. And man, you'll be cooking in no time. But yeah, so we got the uh, ICT billet adapter for the AC unit. I'll show y'all that in a little bit for the AC and the uh, power steering. It's going to come on that separate bracket. Going to come on the bracket together. Excuse me there. And then I got the alternator bracket for the uh, that's going to stay on the right hand side there. So that way it makes this super simple, super easy. And I already had one ground wire on this side from the factory. I just added another one. It's always good to have multiple grounds, man. You can never have too many because um, that's your main thing. If you're having electrical issues, truck not running right on these uh, LS swaps. Is man, you don't have clean grounds and um, and good grounds. See how thick that one is. So, yeah, so we're gonna get back to it. I'll bring y'all along. Topping off, putting the uh, transmission fluid in the torque converter so that way I could put it in, put a new torque converter seal in there as well while it was out just to make sure we don't have any leaks. And yeah, man, we cooking, we cooking. So, y'all stay tuned. All my new subscribers, thank y'all for subscribing. All my old timers and uh, faithful friends. Hey man, I appreciate y'all as well. Y'all tell some more friends to come to the channel. And uh, we're going to keep on um, growing this thing. So more to come in 2023. Definitely appreciate it. If you like, share, subscribe. And we'll be right back with you. Alright, so welcome back on this OBS LS Swap. We got that 5.3, she's built. Valve covers are on, heads are on. The valley cover is on, knock sensors are in. Running the uh, OBS oil pressure sensor. We're gonna make all the gauges work in here as well. Took out the plug for the, uh, the rear. Say if this was on the driver's side, that would be the uh, temp sensor temp sensor there but when it's on the uh, passenger side it comes with a block off there so you just take that block off out with the allen wrench and then you go ahead and put that in run that to your factory one factory harness on there and uh, gauge will work good so yeah we're gonna keep cracking man we're gonna keep cracking torque converter is in and we're about to get ready to throw this bad boy on there Oh yeah, so these are the mounts that I'm using. As you can see, we got plenty of adjustability in there. And um, to get that thing right where you need it to be. So we'll check back in with you in just a little bit. All right, we're finna see if we can go ahead and slide on in. Won't be bolting up today. Just want to get it in place. So I wish you'd be ready.
All right, so OBS is gonna need this little uh, put a torque converter spacer and aftermarket flex plate as well with the dual bolt patterns there, so that way the bolt up is just a little bit different than LS stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of pluck on in there. Right, so welcome back to the channel. So we got the OBS project going. Today we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish up the finish up the motor mounts. We got the torque converter all bolted up. I got to I left one bolt loose for the fuel. It has a little uh, like a little uh, grommet that goes through one of the uh, transmission bolts. So we're going to go ahead and get that on, button this thing up, and I'm going to do the, I'm going to put the knock sensors harness on, knock sensors are already in, and then we're going to go ahead and clean up some of this wiring. Well, I might not do the wiring today, probably start that on a separate whole video, uh, but we're going to go ahead and Maybe even try to get some front set, front accessories on. See what this thing make this thing start coming together. Now we're gonna do the uh, exhaust manifold as well. Put those in. Make sure we don't have no fitment issues. And yeah, we're gonna keep it cracking, man. Keep it cracking. Keep it cracking. We'll be right back with you. <laughs> <laughs> 